This video will cover all the different ways to make groups in TSM from basic to advanced. Let's start with making a group for current expansion herbs. So you could just write in here and easily just add them all over to the group over here. But that's just because I have them in my inventory that I can so easily add them over here. But imagine if they weren't in my inventory. Let's look at some other ways that we can go about doing that. So let me go get this stuff out of my inventory. Okay, so now that we have the herbs out of our bags, we'll go look at that group again. And you see that the herbs are no longer showing up here. So we don't have a quick and easy way to get them over here. So we need to come up with a different method. So you can just go search for them on the auction house. So let's look up fireweed. That's one of the herbs that we want to put in this group. We'll wait for it to search and we shift click on it and it'll pop in over here. So that's fireweed and we've got fireweed added in here. Then we just go look for one of the other herbs, add them in until you get all of the herbs in. So you don't actually have to have them in your inventory. You can do this with any sort of item. There's also a third way that you can quickly add these items into the group. So let's go look at that. So here we'll go over a different way that you can add items into your TSM groups. So let's look at Frostweed. And here's the item and up right here in the address bar is the item ID. So it's usually a four or five, six digit number. So you just copy that and then you come back over to the game and you go import export and you pop that number in. Now you got your frost suite in there. So making groups in TSM for your professions is extremely easy to do. All you need to do is open up your profession, go to TSM groups here at the top, click on create profession groups, and you'll see a group appear over here when I click it. So enchanting just appeared over here. If you click on enchanting, you can go through here and you can see all of the items that I can currently make with my enchanter and all of the mats, of course. So then you can set up operations for that. All the items are in there. You don't have to shift click them in. You don't have to go find them on Wowhead. It's just an easy way to get all the items for your professions in a group. So make sure you use that feature as well. And then you can make subgroups within subgroups within subgroups if you want to break your profession down into different categories. So say we select on crafts and we want to move this up into the enchanting scrolls group. We can just click on management, go to new parent group, and select enchanting scrolls and now all of these enchanting items are under enchanting scrolls and we can completely get rid of that whole group altogether and we have all of the items that are important to us that we want to craft with our profession that we can go ahead and set up operations for and all the other stuff that we don't really care about already gone let's get into a little more detail with setting up groups Imagine we want to set up groups for glyphs. The simple methods mentioned in the basic guide just is not feasible here. There are hundreds of glyphs and we need an efficient way of doing this. Let's go look for the glyphs that we want to find. And we'll start with the Death Knight glyphs, but you'll have to go and do them for all of the classes, of course. But just to show you how this is done. Uh, so you can just highlight all the way to the bottom. Control C to copy, then go over to the Trade Skill Master website. Go to Group Maker, hit Control V to paste it in here, and then you have all the item IDs down here. Control C to get those. So then you come into your TSM window and you make a group for those DK glyphs. Then you go to Import Export, and you pop your string in here. And there are your glyphs for DKs. Okay, so let's use Wowhead filters to get creative and come up with some interesting TSM groups. So I'll show you one example. There's many more, but I can't cover them all. Uh, so let's go look at recipes. And then we'll come down and we will select uh, buyout price and available to players we'll set the negative as no apply the filter 
And now we have a list of all of the recipes that are no longer available in the game but can still be bought and sold on the auction house if people have them in their inventory. Uh, so there's a total of 67. So you can pop those in your TSM by just highlighting and putting it into the TSM group maker like I did for the last example. Uh, so you can come up with some really neat groups for your TSM. Uh, there's a, another great feature that you can use to help build up your TSM groups. So this is just one example of many. You can go select your server and go have a look and see who the top sellers are on your server. Look at what they're doing and you could try doing some of the same things that they're doing. So this is a server I don't play on. This is the top seller right now on that particular server. So sort it by most expensive because I don't care about the cheap items that they're posting. So you can see here that there's lots of transmog gear, some recipes. So you can just copy their list and pop it right into your TSM. So control C for copy. Go to group maker. Control C here, um, you've got all the item IDs and then you just go pop it into your TSM. So you guys should be able to make any sort of group you could possibly want to make in TSM with what I've shown you in this video. This is an example of the profile that I use to make gold for myself. Uh, so just to show you, I have shopping lists set up for all the current expansion mats so I can go to the auction house and constantly skim off all the cheap items without having to take the time to manually type in each item and search for it. So that part makes you a lot more efficient. And then just to show you an example of one of the groups in here, say jewel crafting. So all of the current expansion jewel crafting items, I have groups set up for that. And then old content, I have all of the metas set in here and all of the leveling gems and a variety of other things for jewel crafting. There's no right or wrong way to set up your TSM. Just do it however it makes sense to you and um, good luck on your gold making journey.